Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our webinar on profitable candlestick patterns. Now, I would greatly appreciate it if you could click on the subscribe button or hit the bell icon down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise you, we're not going to bother you with anything. You'll just get a notification when I upload a new video. So thank you very much in advance. Now, Japanese rice traders created candlesticks about 400 years ago. We all know that. And there are over a hundred candlestick patterns, tons of them. We have Marabuzas, we have Hammurabis, we have Dojis, we have Evening Star, Morning Star, Three Black Soldiers. We go on for on and on forever. Now, candlesticks show investor sentiment more visual than an OHLC bar. Okay, what we can see is we can, candlestick charts give us a better visual understanding of what price is trying to tell us. Now, today's class is not on an introduction to candlesticks. We're not even dealing with, say, so-called pattern recognition. We're going to deal with a limited number of candlesticks or candles patterns that have proved over time to be very profitable. Because just memorizing candlestick patterns can be a great big waste of time. Now, all of us know about bearish and bullish candles. Okay. But just to give you a heads up, sometimes we call them black or white candles or red and green candles. A red candle is a black candle. A white candle is a green candle. But you could also have chartreuse and orange. You could have blue and, and yellow. It, it's up to you. As long as you know which color is representing bullish and which color is representing bearish. Now, when I started trading a zillion years ago, we were hand charting. We would sit there with graph paper all day and wait for our, our, the prices to come out and we'd draw them on our charts. Well, the markets moved a lot slower and the world was a lot easier. But we didn't have computers. We didn't have PCs for sure. We didn't have the internet. And we didn't have magic markers. What we had were our pencils in our hands. And when we were drawing a candlestick, we would draw it and we would just leave the body hollow or empty if it was a bullish session, hence the white candle. If we were in a bearish session, we would use the side of our pencil and color in that candle, and we would get a black candle. So hence the black. Today, HTML charts and Java charts have made everything very easy and they're easy to colorize. And we've moved to red and greens as standards. But I see lots of candlestick charts on brokers platforms where they the they're the colors of the broker's platform. Like on ETX, you'll see them in gold and gold and blue, I believe it is. Okay. Now, let's get past that. There are some candles or candlestick patterns that tell us something for sure about the markets that we can use in our short-term trading. One of these is called the indecisive candle. Okay. They can be spinning tops. They can be dojis. But what it means is no one won the battle of the bulls and the bears. Now you have to look at an indecision candle in reference to the trend and the trend lines. Indecision candles happen all the time and they happen for very, very odd reasons. They don't necessarily tell you something about the markets. They just tell you maybe the buyers and bulls took a breather for a second. Maybe there was some big news story on television. Everybody was off watching some you know, press statement or, or maybe that's just when you know, the Federal Reserve was making an announcement. And that one segment of time, there could have been low activity. We don't know, but we had very little price movement. But when we have the open and the close virtually the same, we have an indecision candle, but we have to judge it by where it appears, when it appears on a trend line or when it appears on a level of support and resistance, we can use that to identify something. Then we have things like bullish reversal. A bullish reversal candle is accurate or correct 63% of the time. Well, that helps us a great deal in making a decision because we know when we see this pattern 63% of the time, it's correct. And it's telling us that a bullish move or a bullish reversal is about to happen. We can factor that into our trading decision. So how do we identify it? Well, the first candle, it would be a bearish candle. Now, this is for what we call a bullish engulfing. This is when price is moving down <coughs> and 
and they reverse. So candle on the left is the bearish candle. The new candle, candle two, completely engulfs the body of candle one, and it's of the opposite color. The pattern suggests that the downtrend has lost momentum and the bulls may be gaining strength. Engulfing pattern is the first two candles and we could get moved to three outside patterns. But confirmation is suggested, but it gives you a strong hint because it is 63% of the time correct. So in real life, what does a bullish engulfing look like? Well, this is an example of a bad one. Here's another bad one, because they do occur quite often. You have to be able to read them in relationship to the trend. Now here is a beautiful one. Bullish engulfing, price is moving up. We have a strong bullish candle, and then what do we have? A new red candle that's fully engulfed in the previous candle. Then we have morning stars. Morning stars are three candle patterns and they are 78% accurate. So how do we identify it? The first candle is a long black candle. The second candle gaps down or trades within the same range or a small range or closes at near, the, near its open. The third candle is a white candle. The pattern suggests that the trading sentiment has shifted and trend reversal is a high probability. At this point, when you have your third candle, it is considered a confirmation candle. So therefore you don't need another candle to confirm. So here you see the perfect pattern. And here's a bad pattern. When the, because the three candles can line up, you have to know what's bad or what's good. And then hammers. Hammers are a single pattern candle. I don't rely personally on any single candlesticks of anything. I don't rely on single anything at all. But it's got a 60% accuracy rate. It's a single candle pattern. The candle can be bullish or bearish. The signal can, is considered stronger if the candle is bullish, meaning moving the opposite direction of that trend. So we had a downtrend and it's telling us it's gonna to reverse to a bullish move. Now, three white soldiers and three black crows. They are the opposite of one another, but they have an 82% success rate. Three white candles occur each time a close above the previous candle. Each candle opens within the body of the previous candle and each candle closes nearer at its highs. The pattern suggests that the market has been selling off for too long and the buyers are beginning to come back into the market. So here is three white soldiers on a chart. Now, I, I actually have them on a live chart. So let me pop up some live charts here for you. Okay, here we go. So here we go, and we went into the fourth formation. This is a live chart. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that we should be seeing a very strong bullish move upwards. Okay, so price had been moving upwards, moved into sideways consolidation. Now it's telling us that the buyers have started re-entering the market and we should be looking for a move up. But we're right on our level of support and resistance, our level of resistance. What we wanna do is we wanna wait for the next candle and should, should break above. It's gonna give us an excellent buy point. If it doesn't, and it breaks below when we get a red candle, or in this case, a black candle, we would be then looking for it to retrace down to this level of resistance or this level of support down below. So there are many ways, but these are on the whole attention getters. They're knocking you on the back of your head and saying, hey, look at me, here's an opportunity. Now, Here's a very bad opportunity. Then we have bullish kickers. They're accurate 53% of the time. 
I pay no attention. Anything that's close to 50% isn't giving me any information that I can use. Then we have the opposite of the bullish engulfing. We have a bearish engulfing, which is accurate 79% of the time. Well, if you tell me you're going to be right 79% of the time, I'll, I'll use you in my trading system. It's the exact opposite. The first candle is a white candle. The second candle is a bearish, and its body completely engulfs the first candle's candle body. Patterson says the bears have taken control, and the trend is about to reverse. Now, Evening Star. My problem with Evening Star is the same problem with Morning Star, is I never see them on my charts. You know, some patterns are easy to see, some aren't. Okay, Evening Stars, I have a problem seeing them. But let's go back to live charts for a minute. Okay, let's go over to my teaching chart. Okay, we can use, and most charting service today will give you a way to add uh, candlestick patterns directly on your chart. So I'm going to click on here, bullish and bearish engulfing. And anytime one appears, it's going to just show it to me on my charts. I don't even have to track it down. So if I want to see evening stars or morning stars because I want to rely on them, I can go to my indicators and then candlestick patterns and then go to my evening star and add it to my charts and my morning star and in my charts and it's now going to pop up on my charts and tell me whenever that patterns appear remember i can only use those patterns here but i don't have to look up anything now if i decide i want to use their reliability i could just have them appear on my charts so it's made life a lot easier for all of us now it sounds like we're talking about a lot but remember, we have bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing. They're just the opposite of one another because there's always something coming off an uptrend, something coming off a downtrend. We have morning star and evening star, opposite of each other. Three white soldiers, three black crows, just the opposite of each other. So what did we end up talking about in the whole? Three different types of candlestick patterns. Okay. Here's the three black crows. It's the opposite of the three white soldiers. And the reason I explained to you why we have black and white and red and green is so you understand <coughs> these names were given to these patterns a long, long, long time ago. <coughs> so today we actually could call it three red crows, but we don't change the names. <coughs> and then we have bearish kickers. I pay no attention to them because they're only 54% accurate. So we have... Now, I've broken them down, and I'll give you ranking and statistics. Okay, we have the best, three-line strike bearish. It actually has an 84% accuracy rate, and overall, it's ranked number one, the best pattern when it develops. Okay, then we go to three-line strike bullish, which is actually like three black crows, three white soldiers, but with the fourth pattern added to. That's got an over 65% accuracy rate, and it's performed number two. We go to three black crows. Three black crows is similar to the three line strike, except it doesn't have the fourth candle. It ranks 78% of the time. Evening star is 72%. Atsuki gap is 57%. I don't pay attention to it. Hammer is 60%. Might want to think about, I don't use it. Matching lows, don't use. 61% of the time. Abandoned baby bullish. Okay, I've never ever seen this on a chart, an actual live chart. They do appear. But it's got a 70% success ratio. And then we move to two black gappings. Again, another one I never see on a chart. And then the breakaway bearish, which has a 63% success rate. Okay. Now, to enhance our probability of success, we need to use other tools. So we want to visually observe the chart for the proper trend. We want to look for uptrends. We want to align them with multiple moving averages, say a 20, 50, 40, or a 20, 10, 20, 30, whichever you'd prefer. We want to make sure we have a trend line. And 
that the patterns appear near a major support or resistance or a moving average level. Now we can use things that indicate overbought and oversold like stochastics or Wilder's RSI. We use relative strength index. We use, and we want to compare it to its overall index and we want to use assets that have made extended moves to enhance our probability. So this is just a quick touch on some of my recommended candlestick patterns that can give you profitable trading scenarios. So thank you very much for joining us, but we have lots of classes on candlesticks from candlestick pattern recognition to trading the indecision candles to triangles and triangles. And so please just look at all those classes and you'll learn all about different ways to use candlesticks. Thank you very much and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.